House Bill 589, Representative Van Huss. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This bill prohibits representatives of the United Nations from observing elections in the state of Tennessee. Okay. We have a motion. It's properly seconded. Chairman Lundberg. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have some constitutional questions and that I need to have clarified this. And for that and to get those answers, I'd like to re-refer this to the Civil Justice Subcommittee, Mr. Chairman. The subcommittee. Ed. Okay. If you could just wait. Have you you've discussed this with the sponsor? I have discussed this with the sponsor. Okay. So we have a, a, we have a motion on the bill. Uh, then we have a motion to send the bill to civil subcommittee? Yes, sir. Civil subcommittee. And do I have a second on the motion to send it to civil? Second. We have a second. So it's properly before us. Now there's discussion on the motion to send it to civil sub. And Chairman Hill, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And this came through uh, my committee and was fully vetted. We had lawyers uh, that testified. We had lawyers that presented uh, clarification on uh, the constitutionality question as well. Um, and since that was the original committee that the bill was assigned to and passed through the subcommittee, passed through the full committee, and because we did have lawyers address those concerns that have been mentioned, um, I do not see a need for this to go to that committee, seeing that it's already been through uh, the committee process and was not ever mentioned uh, by the clerk or the clerk's office uh, that it would need to go to any other committees. Because if it did, of course, we would have referred, we would have sent it to your committee uh, when it passed out of full local government. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I would respectfully move to uh, table that motion. Okay, parliamentary procedure. Chairman Lundberg has uh, made a motion to send House Bill 589 to civil sub. Uh, Chairman Hill has tabled that motion. So we are on the tabling motion. It cuts off all debate except Chairman Lundberg. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, Chairman, I appreciate that. I think exactly as you said is a reason why this should go back to the Civil Justice Committee. When an uh, issue of this magnitude is debated amongst lawyers and constitutional questions arise, I think the appropriate venue for that kind of discussion takes place within the Civil Justice Committee, and that's what that was set up. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I would ask that you vote against the tabling motion. Okay. We're, we're now voting on the tabling motion. Uh, all those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed say no. no. No's have it. We're back on the motion before us. Uh, Chairman Cassida. A statement and a question. Uh, I guess I'm con concerned that this is kind of, it's kind of unprecedented. I don't want to say it never happens, but a standing committee that, that this bill fell under the caption, it went to that standing committee. They fully vetted it, sitting here with chairman with the chairman that told me that. And now we're going to question what members of a full standing committee came up with. And I just think that's, that's n that within itself is not prudent to do on this part. But with that said, I understand that the chairman has questions. That's fair. And I was wondering if it, if it would be possible to roll this for a week or two weeks and let the sponsor and the chairman just sit down and see if they can work out the disagreement amongst them. So that's my, qu my statement and my question. Sure, and if I may, it's, it's not a, just a solo question. I think there are others we need exactly in to discuss that. Uh, and that exactly as we've been talking about, the constitutional questions and the legal questions, Unfortunately, uh, I am not a lawyer, uh, but I have lots of questions. I think that's what can bring something to that and bring light on this. And that's why I think, again, it's appropriate to be in civil justice. And, and let me just say, as chairman of this committee, you know, one, one of our purposes here is to try to take care of things before they get to the House floor. Because as we all know, if it gets to the House floor and some questions are asked about constitutionality and this and that, it's very hard to have someone come, well, you know, to come to the podium and explain some constitutional scholars and stuff. So it's better to take care of it in the committee system as much as possible. So it's not unprecedented, um, and I don't think there's any ill will uh, with, with this motion. But we've, we've had a request about, instead of taking action on sending it, is to, to, to roll the bill. And so we have a motion before us, but the sponsor at any time can ask if they want to roll it to talk things out. Would you like to, to roll it a week or two? No, no, Mr. Chairman. 
Okay, then we're back on the motion to send it to civil subcommittee. Is there, I've got you Chairman Hill, is there anybody who hasn't spoken yet on it who'd like to? Seeing none, Chairman Hill, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate uh, the chairman wishing to, uh, to ask questions, which we're perfectly capable of doing in this committee, perfectly capable of coming to the sponsor's office uh, before the com this committee meets to ask him his questions that he's concerned about. I think we spent about an hour and a half last Thursday talking about the sanctity of the committee system. Uh, and if we're going to have the committee system, we're going to have the clerk assign bills to the committees, then those bills, if they are, have a positive uh, a majority vote out of those committees. It was my understanding that that is to be recognized, that is to be honored, and that is to be adhered to. However, of course, it's always at the will of the committee. But just remember, this committee is, the vast majority of this committee is made up of uh, fellow chairmen. Guess what? Your committee will probably be next. Okay, I don't have anybody else on my list, so we're Chairman Dean. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I apologize for jumping in there last. And what the chairman said reminded me of something. It was just uh, two weeks ago that I requested that a uh, bill be moved back to transportation. The reason that I did was because I felt it that uh, members of the Transportation Committee had questions on that bill. So from time to time, I expect to uh, ask that bills be moved to transportation when I see that there's something that needs to be vetted in the Transportation Committee. And that's why I'm not really opposed to letting civil justice uh, look at this bill. If, if, if it's a good bill, it'll come out. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, we're on the motion, and I see no further discussion, so we're voting on the motion. All in favor of sending uh, House Bill 589 to civil sub, say aye. aye. Those opposed? Aye. The ayes have it. it. goes to civil sub. Thank you, Mr. Go Chairman. Go ahead and put it on committee. notice there.